Before we start on today's video, this episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous podcast is brought to you by Factor, the fantastic meal service and fantastic flavors that come with it. Factor is a great meal service plan that allows you to customize all the different kinds of food that you want to eat that makes it easy, affordable, and great for you to reach your goals in the brand new year. Regardless of the type of food you're looking for, whether it's keto, calorie smart, protein, or just the best tasting stuff out there, Factor has you covered. It's easy to use, easy to reheat, and most importantly, tastes fantastic with little waste. There are a lot of us who are looking to get into all of our major goals in 2024, and in order for you to reach those faster, having a quick and easy, healthy, and delicious meal for you to grab out of the fridge and heat up in minutes is perfect for all of us. So go down to the description of this video and get 50% off your first Factor 75 box plus free wellness shots for life. That's two free wellness shots per order with an active subscription. Again, check the link in the description and make sure you get Factor started on your goals today. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Adeptus Ridiculous Podcast. My name is DK Diamantes, his name is Bricky, and Warhammer, am I right? In 2024, wow, happy new year. But before we get into all that, if you enjoy today's episode and you maybe want to support the podcast, head over to patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous where you can get access to the Discord, bloopers if they happen, the $15 tier gets you access to all of our HD posters in digital format. It's great. Patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Bricky, tell them. Tell them. I will tell them. Uh, Go ahead and finish up Lion, Son of the Forest. We will be doing that book club most likely next week. So uh, get that going and done with. And also for the merch, thank you everyone so very much for your uh, just you know, great generosity during the holiday season. It was wonderful. Um, the if you see any posters still on the site, those are any leftover ones we pre-printed just in case uh, it went crazy. So there should only be single digit remaining uh, for for them. And then once they're gone, uh, they will be pulled from the site fully. And that's the end of 2023. So if you see one there, it might just be because like we had like one or two left or something like that. Yeah, but the leftovers, the little leftover ones. But uh, besides Christmas that, leftovers. That's the end of uh, of twenty twenty three. Happy twenty twenty four. Uh, we made not, it. We made it. You made it through another year. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations, Sailor. You made it to Friday. Hooray! It's Hooray. January. Fuck you, it's January. January. Yay! Yeah. Love to hear it. Mm. Mm 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 mm. Finger looking good. Hell yeah! So now that it's, it's a brand new year, it's it's a brand new time. BK, uh-huh. brand that new mean, time. Yes, that means I'm going to be Go nice on. to you. Yeah, and no quote. I, I don't think I got one for you today. Let's I'm going to be nice. Let's go, baby. I'm all I'm about a, that life. I I am uh, I am going to be to be nice. I am going Thank to you. allow. It's my Christmas present. My belated Christmas present. Actually, do I have a quote? No, you don't. You just said you don't have a quote. So yeah, just, you're right. Yeah, okay, good. Whew. Uh, so th- this, you know. Starting off the brand new year, starting off a whole new type of thing, I think it's a time that we talk about something that is so prominent in 40k. So shy as a quote, let's go. You're not you're oh, not safe. You're never come safe. Come on, man. What happened to my present? You didn't get me anything for Christmas. This was supposed to be my present. What did you get me for Christmas? A gratitude. Shy gave me the quote. For being on the podcast, obviously. (sighs) 
Imagine that, your limbs removed, replaced with spark whips and nests of claws, eyes bored from your skull and stained glass in their place, your heart and organs fixed with stim injectors and neuropathic glands, and then, proud in your new body, what remains of your drooling waste of a mind will be turned to the good of the Imperium. That's pretty good. Wow. That, uh, that almost, that, that, that sounds like, uh, like, like, what happens when you get turned into a servitor or something? Holy fucking shit, Shy. Holy shit. I can't believe it. Let's go! I, I, it, it was extremely easy. It, yeah, Actually, it was. If, if you didn't put the last part, like the proud in your new body, uh, turn to the good of the Imperium, it might have been a little harder to get. But once it was for the good of the Imperium, it was like, yep, that's got to be servitors, right? So I absolutely believe that the customized version of this quote, if you genuinely wanted to get full points, uh, you would have said arco-flagellant, because that's definitely an arco-flagellant situation there, oh. um, especially with the spark whips. Uh, but it's okay. Yes, uh, um, today's about servitors. Oh, nice. Yeah. Horrors beyond man-made comprehension. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sweet, Lois. Or is beyond ah, my comprehension. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go. So someone, I, I forget what I where I read this, but someone kind of had, oh, that was a voice crack. Oh, God. Um, oh, but, okay. but someone. Um, yeah, puberty finally hitting in 2024 for Bricky. Let's go. Starting off the new year with a bang. Let's go. That was the sound <laughs> of my balls dropping. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. That is a drop. You're right. I should Oosh. stand from a higher cliff. Sheesh. Anyway, anyway, um, no. So uh, I read something where they people were talking about like what is the most horrible thing in all of 40k, and a lot of the answers were what you expected: uh, Jukari, mm-hmm. the the de- the demon Kilbasa, mm-hmm. you know, all kinds of stuff like that. But for someone made a statement, they said servitors. Just, I mean, servitors are not it, like it's not great to be servitorized. I don't know if that's the verb for becoming a servitor but yeah it's not great like every instance i've seen of becoming a servitor is like essentially every part of you gets hollowed out and you become an just a blank slate for the imperium to use as a slave yeah the, the horror that comes from being a servitor feels like a lot more of a philosophical horror than it does a, a genuine like you're going in the demon birthing chamber yeah, like, or like you're on Talos's operating table. Yeah, and now don't get me wrong. The Awful. creation of a servitor is still very terrible. Um, but it definitely it, it's kind of just this view on how little human life matters. Yeah. The, yeah. Not only is it terrifying the the procedure to become one as well as the um as well as what like they they or sorry uh, the procedure and also like what it is to be one but what they represent i think is the real kind of end game horror yeah. um but with all that let's let's define a servitor so okay a servitor is a individual uh normally of a human stature but there are servitors of various animals as well as uh like mutations uh mm-hmm. like if you, you didn't know or ogren servitors do exist um uh All right. t- turns turns out they're not much turns out they become smarter when they become a servitor i was gonna say that might be a, a, a an upgrade to what they usually are but sure okay uh so a servitor is generally a robot and mm-hmm. this is about as close as we come to any kind of ai menial slash assistant um, yeah. They are a mind, uh, the catch all term basically for a mindless drone created by a combination of flesh and robotic technology. Yeah. Uh, yes. And if you watched Robocop, it is basically that. Yeah. And uh, I every every time I see him in a book, it's just like, oh, yeah, that servitor, even though the ship is on fire, they're on fire, they're melting, they're staying at their station doing their job because that's what they were programmed to do. And it's like, ooh, 
I mean, hell, for a lot of those servitors, they are physically implanted in the chair, so it's not like they can get up and leave anyway. Yeah, like the Medicaid station in Dark Tide, right? That's a that's a servitor. Yeah, and doesn't doesn't one of them have like uh, it's like oh god, I realize what I am. Please kill me or something. There, there is there is also those issues that come along with it, which uh, we'll talk about in a bit. Okay, um, okay. But but basically anything that is in Warhammer that is deemed a a robot that is programmed to do robotic simple functions is a servitor in some metric. Okay. Um which is when you kind of start to realize to the extent of how ridiculous it is because let's not forget that in dark time when you open and close doors that's a door servitor. The the button is a human <laughs> skull lodged in a in a socket. Uh, that's true. It is, isn't it? I never really thought. I thought that was just for decoration. No, that, that's the the, serv- the door opens and closes through a robotic mechanism. A servitor is doing that. Um, oh. Servo skulls are the right. common use of also a human head and brain that has been. Uh, reprogrammed to fly around and often record stuff and things yeah. like that. Are those the because there's a version that's like semi they consider semi honorable because you're still like serving the emperor in death or something, right? Is it the as servo a, skulls? Uh, as like a servitor, or yeah, or I might be mixing it up with something else. I I, I feel like I know what you're talking about, but I can't put the name on it. Uh, okay. Um. Anyways. For the most part, it's they're menials, you know, they're yeah, complete yeah. menials that are mostly robots um, and anything that would originally need to be programmed with AI is programmed by a servitor. Uh, if you open up Dark Tide, for ex- not Dark Tide, um, Rogue Trader, for example, the entire computer on the main menu screen has a servitor in it that's controlling the computer like. If okay. if there is a piece of technology, every computer, every uh, pro- well, maybe not like a data slate, but like if there was ever an AI mechanism or some kind of computer type thing, there's a good chance that a servitor is there in it somewhere. Oh wow! Then there are a there are infinitely more servitors than I thought because I didn't realize that like the computers and the doors and everything were. So- I thought that was just like sort of, you know, they're the ones that are just doing like like you said the menial stuff, just pushing buttons here and there and whatever. I didn't realize. I don't. I guess I didn't realize just how many servitors there are and how much stuff they run. I mean, like I'm sure a data slate. Is does not have a servitor in it, just a piece of t- it's like a oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. But still, um, like, I didn't realize every computer, every door, like, there are. I just thought they were the ones that were just menially pushing buttons. I didn't realize they were in the door. So, in fairness, this does tend to vary, um, because the STC required to make, say, a door might be different on planet A versus planet B. And then sure? there might be a thing where one thing is a little bit more uh, heavy on servitors and the other because of requirements in X or Y and materials and in, in Z and W. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, obviously, the, it, like with most things in Warhammer, there is no flat template. Mm-hmm. But yes, and uh, Shai w- uh, uh, confirmed you were correct. Servo skulls are considered an honor. Uh, because it allows you to serve the emperor past your death, and they are made from loyal servants of the emperor and not as a punishment. Which, I gotta be honest, I didn't even know that. I feel like you're the one who told me that. I might have, but you know you know that meme where the guy like t- says, Hi, Jim, and then he like takes Jim and shoves it out of his brain. He's like, so you want to <laughs> hear about how Horus slew the emperor? <laughs> it could be, could be. I'm learning! So... Servitors uh, often are made from the massively injured of normally heretics, criminals, or people yeah. deemed unfit to society. Mm-hmm. Um, pretty often it's criminals, uh, penal legions especially, like those kinds of people are a pretty big majority. I'd say that any heretic, which you kind of go to jail if you're a heretic, so it's like kind of yeah, a little bit of a little bit of column A, a little column B. Yeah. 
Um, they are normally the ones who are subjected to, quote, servitude imperpetuous. Yeah, they sure are. So, so this involves a large task of mind wiping, uh, reprogramming, and then enhanced to serve a form or function. Often that function being particularly rudimentary or uh, specific. Nice. A servitor will be programmed to carry boxes or it will be programmed mm-hmm. to open a door or bring or pour. Wa- I mean, with the nobles, like wine servitors exist. They pour <laughs> wine and bring you yeah. wine. Because <laughs> Why am I alive to cut butter? Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, like that's not entirely off. The butter cutting robot, the from butter Rick cutting Morty, robot, is a servitor. That that would genuinely be a servitor a noble would make. And yeah, a highborn aristocrat would have a butter cutting servitor. That is you saying that like made me cringe a little bit. Like I, Rick and Morty is a fine show, but it's got a rap. Yes, um, it does. It does. That's true. But I'm not going to lie, that is, like, shockingly closer to the <laughs> truth than I would have liked. That is a very correct statement. Let's go. Well, that's true. Butter Robot is a little less evil because it's not made from a mind-wiped and mutilated person. So. But imagine if you were, like, a serial killer in 40K and they caught you and it's like, ah, yes, now your purpose is to butter. Butter. Well, butter. you wouldn't know. Your mind's wiped. Yeah, it's true. You wouldn't care. So normally servitors are mindless and have only some kind of basic instincts. Uh, But sometimes uh, physical trauma may occasionally mess with the surgery and awaken old memories or old personality quirks. Um, This is the simple nature that despite all of the advanced technology of the 41st millennium, People have billions of neurons, and their and every yeah. part of their brain is microscopic. Yeah, the brain is still a very mysterious thing, even in 40k. So, despite no matter how well you can reprogram, no matter how well you can screw around with people and and make them whatever you want them to be, they might take a last round to the head and then just start screaming because they're like, "What's wrong with my body?" What's going on? What's happening? Oh, uh, yeah, that's got to be the worst. So oh, that's man. that's that's probably the worst is like then you kind of wake up and you realize what you are. And oh, it is. Uh, I have played Soma. Yes, Shy. Oh, Soma is so- such a great game because that incredible. is that psychological horror still messes with me to this day. Like it's not a jump spooky. It's just it's. Uh, the premise and the uh, there I don't is like it. There is one part of that game that bugged me, where the character was told something would happen, and then it happens, and he's like, "Why did that happen?" I think, <laughs> I think you know the part. Oh, it's like kind of near the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm yeah. like, "What the hell, man?" But besides that, like, we told you the whole time. You knew this was a possibility. Yes, yeah, so a human mind trapped inside a robot body, screaming in horror because it can't breathe. That's pretty uh. similar to what they what they did with the Necrons recently with Twice yeah, Dead I- King. I was about to say, like, I, I have no mouth, but I must scream, right? Yeah, that was that's kind of because um, in Twice Dead King, the Necrons had that issue. And it going down that mental panic attack line is how you got flayed ones because they were trying to put skin back on their body. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty fascinating. Yeah, those are good books, too. I, I, I liked how they dealt with that. I, I still think Twice Dead King Ruin is... uh stronger than infinite divine but it's it requires a more in in the no necron player so it's yeah. not something i like recommend immediately infinite and the divine is a good starter book absolutely yeah so anywho mm. um servitors for the most part operate pretty poorly without the uh leash of a tech priest uh, normally them kind of directing them and, do, and and telling them where to go helps out a lot uh, they, it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like the Geth, where if you're not by a large amount of intelligence, says you kind of operate crappy. Ah, okay. Uh, so normally, servitors pretty often have a tech priest that is kind of commanding them, um, unless it's something, unless you're rock smashing servitor, then who gives a hell, you know? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there are lots of different variations uh, that make it a little bit more difficult. But that is generally the gist: is hey. 
have a tech priest there, they operate a lot better. I think even in game they do that. Like you run servitors and you put it in, they like they only hit on like a six, but if you run a tech priest in there, it goes to five. It's like, oh, right. okay, cool. I was gonna ask. There's, there, I, I'm pretty sure I've heard that there are combat servitors. Right? Like that's a big thing. Is servitors that are just like, yes, I'm programmed to kill anything that is deemed heretical and or xenos, right? Oh yeah, there, there are absolutely combat servitors. It is a is a very common one. That's a brand new yeah. mini right there. Actually, that mini Don't just came that, out. Actually, uh, it you... looks goofy. I do not like that mini right there. No. Oh, I really like it. I don't know. It might be the paint job because that's an awkward yellow. To contrast with like such bright blue and like that red cannon, it just looks weird. I think the it's cr- the colors. The cream. Yeah, the, the, oh, the oh. cream. If we add the cream. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the right color to suit the mood. Yeah. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, I, I guess I get that, but that's in the brand new Inquisitorial Henchman pack, and I think they look really cool. Yeah, I think it's just the color. That's fine. Uh, the color yeah. is the color. He's got the Bane mask, though, so that's that's cool. He does have the Bane mask. He's got the Bane mask. No uh, one but, knew um, who I was until I put on the mask. Ooh, mechanized ogrins, too. Hey, those are pretty cool. Those other ones I like a lot, actually. Those ones that Shai just posted, those look cool. I do know that you can take servitors in uh, various armies currently, like the guard especially. And oh, yeah. Uh, I, I thought you could take them as in in uh, space marines, but I I don't see them. They may have taken them out of the taken them out of the hmm. codex. I genuinely don't see them. Hmm. Um, could you run them with the sisters since the sisters like the guard? So you you can run some servitors the sisters, but you specifically run penitent engines and arco flagellants. You run ah, the, the holy versions. Right, right. That's right. They have their own little. That's that's true. You're right. You're right. You're right. And of course, there are the cherubs, which who are, are also servitors. Yes, technically. Which yeah. I guess. Uh, so I I had a, a fun little collab stream with a, a VTuber um, Mataracon recently, where we talked about hey, Warhammer stuff. Hey, hell yeah, um, dude! And she mentioned that they dropped the whole. Uh, they lobotomize babies thing. Oh, it's, they, it's they finally like maybe, took that out, huh? Uh, like maybe retconned, and instead it's now like vat grown or something. But I'm gonna be perfectly honest, you know, I mm, wouldn't surprise yeah. me if they still kind of did that. But oh, yeah. uh, they're vat grown. Okay, yeah, like they're, they're vat grown specifically now. to be cherubs. Okay, but at the same time, like I think they're just doing that to save face. Because it's yeah, pretty maybe. goddamn awful. Sounding, it's pretty awful so. to be like, oh yes, in forty in the in the in forty k we lobotomize babies. Like, yeah, that's not a great look. No, so like I in my in my fan canon, I'm I'm sure it still happens, but um, yeah, it's like you know whatever it doesn't really matter. Way worse uh, stuff happens, but that's still pretty bad. Yeah, it's still not great. It's it's yeah. more of the vibe. Um, yeah. so I found an excerpt from a uh, a book. Um, on how servitors are made. Oh and boy, this is one of the worst things I've read. Oh, um, really? Even worse than when the uh, Tyranids got into that one ship? Yeah, I mean that one. That one's pretty, pretty terrible. That's but, real bad. That's real bad. But uh, this is yikes. So, oh no. <laughs> um, it's a, it's a bit long, but I'll put it in, in chunks. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the mass production of servitors run by the Mechanicus. Um, oh, oh, like they have a factory where they just like put humans on like a that. This is what I'm imagining. Just like humans are on a conveyor belt and just <laughs> and just people screaming and then suddenly silence as they. <laughs> you're you're not entirely wrong. Um, oh no. It's interesting when you talk about like the evils of humanity. Uh, uh-huh. You think about like the general imperium and its z- massive xenophobia, intolerance, etc. Um, you think about the sisters, and you you see like just this this unwavering uh, hatred to anything that goes against their doctrine and yep. religious zealots. Mm-hmm. Um, guard doesn't feel too evil, you know. You're you're really kind of. Uh, ground up in the in the metaphorical meat grinder, but 
in yeah. reality, you know, you have low tolerance and everything, but you, you care about your fellow man still. Yeah, you still have some humanity to you, sure. Admech are one of those factions that people tend to forget that just has no care for human life. Like oh, they, yeah. Zero. Oh, yeah, because they think the flesh is weak, and it's like, why would why would anybody want to be a fleshy? Like, they should be like us and try and get rid of as much of it as possible. It's weak. It decays, and eventually it's going to be forgotten, and everything that you know, your knowledge is going to be lost, and we, pres- we want to preserve... Yeah, 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 I get you. And also, like, you're just not important. Well, yeah, right. that too. Yeah. But who <laughs> who just, cares? You just get ground up into dust. Base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was a factory, yes, of, of servitors uh, that they are bringing in from penal colonies and things. Said mm-hmm. naked human beings were standing in a switched back line behind between high fences. Outside the fences, Mechanicus Menial's environmental suits stood guard with shock goads in hand. The people, all mature men and women, were shepherded down the caged walk like livestock and um, uh, meat for the ravenous appetite of the machine god. Uh, I gr- this is from their perspective. I grew up lucky enough to eat real meat. I was unlucky enough to see where it came from. Another oh. gift of my father on another damn tour of my family's various businesses. Yep. Yeah, uh, that's the- fair. Every surface was easily cleanable. Large flaps divided areas from each other, and servitors with spray units surgically attached to their backs prowled about, hosing filth into slit drains set into the perfectly smooth, slanted floors. Uh. Um, The sorting process went from one hall to the other. As the line slowly advanced, the people were passed through various scanning devices, most of them mounted in ugly functional arches that set out a constant series of acceptance chimes. Occasionally, one would let out an angry blare and the indicator lumens flash red. The rejected person was then swallowed up by a trap door opening beneath their feet. From these pits wafted, wafted, whatever, a hideous stench and the grinding sounds of industrial mincers. Oh, one, no. One rejected man grabbed onto the lip and hung there, arms and hands bloodied, shouting a stream of defiant profanities. Guards lined the grating either side of him and shocked him until he fell, as the adepts wouldn't even waste bullets on these people. The trapdoor wow. flipped up, and the next terrified person was ushered forward. Uh, oh, that's a- awful. They wouldn't oh. even waste bullets? Ugh. A number of pneumatic gates separated the people from each part of the process, snapping open and shut with bone-crushing force. Violet metal arms snatched them up and spread eagled them in the air as a servitor shearer shaved them all over. At another, they were subjected to a high-pressure counterseptic wash whose chemical stink made me choke from a hundred feet away. More wow. scanners and more rejects were winnowed out. Machines forcibly dressed them in heavy rubberized garments common to all Bonotas servitors and were saggy on them, all one size, until another process forced shrank them to fit their bodies where metal cuffs, sockets, and collars bit into vulnerable flesh. The last few prayers gave way to screams at that point, as even the most stoic shouted in pain, and were ushered over a floor buzzing with power that made them shriek with every footstep. Oh, okay. Uh, These were follicular inhibitors to stop their hair from growing. Oh, okay. That's great. Thankfully, I was spared a view of the surgeries, as I doubt the Adeptus Mechanicus provided anesthetic. Because why would you spend the money (laughs) on anesthetic? Why would they? Especially when you're about to get servitorized, and it's not like you're going to complain about what you just went through. So that's from Flesh and Steel, a, a novel. Oh, that yeah, that sounds pretty terrible. That sounds pretty awful. It's yep. it's full it's full on a Holocaust uh uh triage. Analogy, yeah. Yeah. It's a Oof. complete Holocaust triage. Everything from the from the the mincing um well I mean this isn't the same, but like there's mincemeat trap doors that probably turn that meat into food for other people combined Ugh. with a, a chemical antiseptic wash and Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty it is pretty awful. It is yeah, pretty that's, bad. That's pretty that's pretty awful. Yep. Don't don't love that. Do not love that. Ugh. That's another excerpt about an arcoflagellant being made from Lord of Lords of Mars, but this one is basically the same thing uh, 
hang a person up, slice off his arms, you know, electrocute, cauterize the limbs, pull out his eyes, open his uh. head, dangle and, and with like little spider things, reprogram his brain all without antiseptic. antiseptic. Oh, boy, uh, that's uh, er, that's a lot. That's a lot. <sighs> not antiseptic. The um, anesthesia. Anesthesia. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's 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 the. Oh, that's horrible. It's the that's, worst thing. Jeez. I mean, the, I know most of the people that get servitorized are like heretics and criminals, but oh my God, like that's, wow, that is a lot. It is a long series of torture rooms, and then you forget everything. Yeah, and, and, and then, then and you then become you, just a loyal servant to the Imperium to open a door for the yeah. rest of eternity. This was all for door people, or like... Yeah. Or like rock grinders or miners or just complete unimportant oh, things. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's 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 a lot. That is a lot, lot. That is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, it is very unfun. So yeah, yeah, that's that. Is, that seems like putting it mildly. Glad uh, uh, glad we could have that that lovely talk. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Oh, so. All right. Now, I, I know for a fact that what people are actually here for is the types of servitors. People want to oh, hear course. about the various types of servitors. Okay, okay, yeah. So, I mean, we could be here for maybe three hours, but there's <laughs> a lot of servitors. A lot. Um, well, yeah, there's, like you said, there's a servitor for everything, for opening doors, for mining, for... For the computers, for I'm sure there are pilot servitors. There are servitors in that are embedded into their chair in the in the void ships. Like there's a servitor for everything. You know, I, I like where Shy's at. Let's start with the combat servitors first. Hell let's yeah. Let's do I love the Cataphrons. I agree, Shy. Cataphron servitors are some of the more awesome ones. Whoa! Uh, this is one of the main battle line units for the Mechanicus. It's in the army as well. They are, you can feel them. Their minis look pretty good, in my opinion. Yeah, I um, hope so. These, it's a tank, uh, basically. It's basically a, a giant tank. It's a wow. giant tank servitor. That is a cool mini, though. Yeah, oh yeah. These wow. things are tall as hell. I think they're a little taller than a Space Marine on these treads. Uh, and they are a combination of shield, ram, and gun. <laughs> yeah. They, wow. Uh, they, there are also, uh, funny enough, I, I don't know if these are around still, but there are Ogryn versions of these servitors. Oh, man, those things got to be trucking. They are They are certainly trucking. They, they look like just wow. big Ogryns with the red on them. Mm. Man, those, if, I were, if I ran Admech, I'd run a bunch of those. Well, unless they're too expensive. Uh, I mean, they, they they are expensive to buy, but... Um, oh, well, they're expensive to field. I mean, they're, they're, they're pricey, but okay. for the most part, actually, this is one of the few units that Admech actually utilized and, w and actually was okay. Um, actually, I, I haven't read much of the... I haven't actually read much of the new Admech Codex yet, so... I do have mm. I do have a few questions that goes with that, but okay, for the okay. most part, um, these guys, yeah, they're they're big, they're chunky, they're very tough. They've got lots of wounds and all that kind of jazz, and they shoot pretty well. You know, yeah, they, I would imagine so. They have guns for arms. They have a giant what is that? A giant Gauss cannon on their shoulder? Like this? Well, he's not a Necron. I guess that's not a Gauss cannon, right? It depends on, on which uh, cataphron. There are destroyers, and then there are breachers. Uh, mm -hmm. Breachers are a little tougher than destroyers, and they have things like uh, the heavy arc rifle, which is a vehicle thing, or yeah, the really. torsion cannon. Sure, because um, it's trying to breach enemy defenses. Sure, sure. Makes th sense. There's destroyers, and they have flamers, plasma guns, grav cannons, all, you know, all that kind of stuff. All that fun stuff, yeah. All that good jazz, so. Yeah. There's some, there's some fun things there, depending on which one you want to run. It's a quirky little guy. He's a little quirky guy. Yeah, he's a quirky little guy. Uh, there are, of course, gun servitors. That would be the <laughs> one you saw above. They hold a big gun. Ah, they hold the big gun. Cool. It's heavy. This is the ones you can actually run in either the uh, 
Imperial Inquisition group or in the guard. Mm-hmm. For the most part, the these fire heavy bolters, plasma cannons, multi melters, just you know, kind of whatever you feel like. That picture Shai just posted is so unsettling because it's just you can see that the like he's just dead inside. Like it's yeah. there's no emotion. It's just it might as well be a walking corpse. He's just there. He's yeah. He's just there. That big big ass gun is firing on his. He's just there. He's just dead yeah, he stare. Had- has nothing, no no thoughts, head empty, he just exists. Only gun, yeah. Only gun. <laughs> no thoughts, head empty, only gun. Uh, so, past that, other kinds of battle servitors, you have the Arcoflagellants, a personal favorite. Oh, really? Why would that be? Because I can run them with sisters. Oh, wow. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. No bias at all. No bias. No bias. No bias. None. Uh, we like the we like the um, the the Arco flagellants. They are obviously normal reprogrammed servitors, but they have a particular uh, religious aspect to them. Mm-hmm. For them, it's a lot more about the uh, how you say it, it's like Clockwork Orange. They're oh. very much fed constant ecclesiarchal sermons and right. just all that kind of stuff. Yeah, okay, okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, it's... Look at them, look at them with their crazy whips. Yeah, they they, they swing around as berserk killing machines. I mean, those whips are pretty cool, though, I gotta say. I mean, they they are pretty cool. They do seem very neat. I wouldn't want to be one, though. No, I wouldn't want to be one either. No, I wouldn't want to be any kind of servitor, actually. Would not would not particularly like to, even if they do look really cool and they've been hitting the gym. Oh yeah, they 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 work out. Outside of all of the you know slashes, mechanical stuff. Yeah, yeah. All of the the mechanical shenanigans. Yeah. Yuck. Yuck. So, including the other battle servitors, there are H grade combat servitors. Ooh, Shai makes a good point. Yeah, the the ecclesiarchy specifically doesn't purposely fully mind wipe them. So they can still comprehend the bombardment of religious hymns that's built into the helmets that is covering their eyes. Oh, so you're actually still ooh yuck. Yeah, it's it's full stop, never ending. Like ooh, uh, how how much are we going to hit you with the uh, God, 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 Emperor, save you, fight, kill yeah. for the Emperor, never how, ending. <sighs> Oh boy, that's uh, and you're not even completely. Mu- oh, uh, ooh, yeah, don't love that. That's awful. Yeah, yep. it's full on. Like it's it goes from mind wipe instead to like mind control. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have H grade combat servitors, which are Ogren class, basically. Okay. Um, we can't run those, unfortunately, but Ogren servitors are just kind of a hilarious concept to me. Okay. Because they're that is. so big and tough. Fair, fair. And smarter than the average Ogren. Oh my god, is that a is that a servitorized Ogren? I'm assuming that's probably a fan mini, but god damn does it look cool. Wow. So grimy and that's that's a that's a horror movie monster. So that'll give you nightmares. Obviously, you have all it's hard to to, to explain every single type of servitor, considering how many functions they serve. Um, The term, you know, (laughs) God damn you, Uh, you know, heavy repair servitors, obvious industrial servitors, obvious servitor pilots, obvious. Obvious. Yeah, yeah. There are things like retriever configuration servitors, which are designed for live capture of a target. So they normally have like a, a web or something kind of like that with them. Yeah, yeah. There are skulker configuration, which are entirely uh, meant to create terror and fear in imperial populations. Okay. Enhanced uh, Vox units that like screech out cries and things like that. Okay, okay. There are ecclesiarchal servitors, exclusively ah. used by the Sisters of Battle to bring them ammo, incense, Etc. All the, the yeah, they're they're just uh, they're they're pack mules. They're big pack mules. Often cherubs take this uh, job as well, but it just depends. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, runner servitors. This is a total like World War II thing. They grab additional power packs for las cells and other ah. kinds of things. Uh, take away recharge power cells for mm-hmm. defending positions. Okay. Okay. I, I thought you were gonna say for the 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 runners that they uh, it's like oh no this is a minefield oh send a runner and they just run across it and if they get blown up eh, it's just a servitor. I mean they probably would do actually you know what they would. Uh? I, okay, so on one hand, I say they would probably just send the guard to do that anyway because there's so many of them. And why? That's true. <laughs> why spend the money to program a servitor? Servitor to do that when you can get the guard to do it. Yeah. But at the same time, the guard probably have like they have a lot of gear on them. So eh. Yeah. 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 A little here, a little there. Yeah. Yeah. Depends. Depends. The Adeptus Mechanicus have a weird combination of servitors, too. Uh, not only is there a massive volume of them, but they have this weird kind of half and half thing when it comes to their servitors. Like, oh, like, like, Shy, would you call a Skatari a servitor? Because, well, I like, mean, uh, that's it's a hard one. Yeah. Like. Well, they haven't been completely mind wiped, though, have they? Like, I know they. Well, I they've been they want to get rid I think. of the flesh and everything, but like that's not really servitorizing, is it? Would you say that, that's the tough part? Because I think they were mind wiped like to their previous lives, but I don't like. But they're not like mindless. But they also are kind of puppeteered by tech priests. Well, so they kind of, yeah, kinda. They're they're often like very often Skatari are, are arrive at birth because they are bred from like a eugenics program. Mm-hmm. Um which is so funny to say out loud and just be like, oh that's pretty normal. Oh yeah, yeah, that's 40k. Yeah, sure, whatever. Right. I was all I, that was my next question was the Rust Stalkers, which by oh, the way, love those so minis. So cool. Love those minis. Yeah. Um Yeah, like the Rust Stalkers. <sighs> That does look like a servitor, kind of, but... It does, but they're also, like... I don't know, it's hard, because they're kind of, um... I did a, I did a, a video with Auspex Tactics when we were talking about the new, the new army stuff, and he mentioned he really liked the idea of um, how the Admech work, where you kind of, like, wind them up like clockwork soldiers to adjust what you're doing each round. And I think clockwork soldiers probably is a pretty good way to say it. Yeah, um, there are of cool. course some some particular fav, uh, favorite ones of, of your boy, the the penitent engine. Oh, hey, why is that one of your favorites? I I own like ten. <laughs> I love <laughs> this. Um, penitent engines, of course, uh, they are hardwired directly into the engine, and mm-hmm. they know that only death can grant them any kind of release. So they go forward, to murder as much as they can before their death. Yeah, that's uh, that's a rough one. That's uh, oh boy. That yeah, is... I'm really glad they adjusted what they looked like because they had an old Penitent engine that, as Shy put it, is the horny version, and I never uh, really liked that. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yep. yep yeah, yep, the yep. new one looks a lot better. Yeah, the new one looks more fitting of what the thing actually is and does. And yeah, I gotta be honest. There is a thing called the self flagellant servitor which is a servitor meant to inflict pain on you. Oh, yikes. Why? Like, ugh, that, what? all right. Okay. Okay. That, okay. Whatever. So, Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta get pennants. Yeah, I, I guess, but that, <laughs> all right, whatever. Eh, it's the 41st millennium. This is normal stuff. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Self-flagellation is a religious thing. It is. It is a. It is. A hyper religious thing. But you know hyper religious. But it's like I, you really need to make a servitor that just does that all day. Oh, hey, check this out. Contego pattern bomb disposal servitor. Oh, boy. Yeah. So it's a, it's, a, it's a bomb disposal, but like there you go for your landmines and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I figured there had to be some servitor like that. Um, but then there are some funny servitors. Mm-hmm. Um, for example, there is the servo rat. Servo rat, like a, they don't literally servitorize rats, do they? I mean, 
Let's let's let, let's read this. <clears throat> Servo rats are rats that the Imperium have converted into servitors that are used to reach small enclosed areas that are otherwise unreachable. They use them as uh, their hidden cameras. Well, I mean, now that you say that, now that I think about it, that's not a terrible use of just a just a rat. Like, essentially, you're turning it into a spy cam. Like you said, yeah. it, it turned into a little camera that can just, you know, wriggle its way into places that, a well, I guess that's, yeah, sure. And there's probably an abundance of rats. There, there are a ton of rats. Yeah, and so, <laughs> so you might as well put them to good use, put them to work. <laughs> Might as, might as well get the rats to be a part of everything. Sure, um, sure. There are also uh, there are also humorous servitors like the Cenobite servitors that serve the Black Templar. As we all remember, the lovely uh, sword wiping servitor. <laughs> yep, I remember that one. Yeah, yeah, sure, you, sure. You, th- you think cutting butter is one thing? But shining the butter knife. You gotta, gotta, you gotta make sure that butter knife is clean for the butter knife servant <laughs> for the for the butter cutter. Uh, apparently, there are. Uh, yeah, oh, there he is. There Look he is. Him. What a mini! What a mini! Sheesh! Gotta, gotta appreciate him. Oh yeah, got um, got to got to. Uh, also, shy. Please make sure that you put the one with the the guy wiping Bricky's forehead. I mean, that that's okay. It's a, it's yeah. it's a pretty good meme, so I I'll, I accept it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. there's also an interesting one called the Heavenly Host. These are a uh, servitor cherub that are created by Nighthouse Sacrosants that are able to fly around because of their you know they they fly obviously. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but these will uh take flight at with these um as like scouts and use them to assist uh as picked feeds and lenses for the night houses. Oh, uh, okay. So uh, just flying spy cams again. But there's a part. So okay, this is a thing we don't talk about with knights much. It's kind of fun. Sacristan crawlers. A sacristan crawler is a heavy uh, armored vehicle that is entirely used to conduct resupplies and repair imperial knights. So it's a giant like loader vehicle for knights. Oh, okay. And so very often these will be covered in these heavenly host cherubs that will go out and do things they'll also do other crazy stuff like lay down mines maybe for the enemy like as awesome as knights are obviously they'll run out of ammo in like seconds yeah if we're taking it seriously which we aren't but yeah i mean they they should but yeah whatever so there is a uh there is a lot of uh, a lot of that kind of cool stuff that go along with the servitors. Okay. Um okay, Shai, okay. did you have any specific servitors uh that you want to mention? I, I know there's the choir servitor, which is just uh, a <laughs> they singing just sing. in, Yeah, they just sing in, in uh the ecclesiarchal sermons the whole time. <laughs> Do they have those on the battlefield just to hype up the uh soldiers or anything? Or are they just I, Yeah, I in think the cathedral so. or oh, okay. Well, I would imagine both. <laughs> Oh, that's true. Yeah, they would have them both. Cause yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Like you know, it's just that's just kind of the kind of the vibe. Oh man, they'd be a prime target for a heretical trooper. Are they singing the holy hymn? Shoot them! And that was a that was not. And terrible. they would probably just keep. Uh, they probably just keep singing too. That's not. That's not terrible. It's like shooting the drummer boy. So the drummer boy is already mind wiped. Yeah, and the drummer. Yeah, 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 yeah. That that. Yep. What the Whoa. hell is that? Spectre Servitor made from the brain of a Psyker Xenos made by gangsters on Necromunda. Whoa. That thing looks badass. Yeah, it does. It looks like it looks like those crazy, like when you wake up in the Matrix and the you got those crazy flying octopus oh. robots. It kind of looks like that. Wait, where did this uh where's this from, Shy? Like, like what, what what kit? I know it's Necromunda, but like what what kit is it? Because that's like pretty cool yeah it is that is pretty cool i'm actually a big fan what does it do how because like if, if it's if it's from a psyker xeno that thing's gotta have some wacky crazy mm, psyker nonsense to it right Ah, uh, it's the it's the creepy um the, the creepy crypt keeper house right the ones that all look like weird bald uh yeah okay Okay, it's these guys. These guys are weird. These guys well, are very weird. Look at what they made. No kidding. 
Well, okay, well, yeah, but like... Of course they're weird. They look funny. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. F- funnier than normal. Fun. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Give me, give me, give me a, give me some credit. No, I refuse to give you credit. That's fair. You I will get take it. cash. Oh Bums. hell yeah! I'm not giving you cash either, but yeah. Um. So, other than that, oh, there's all, oh, never oh, mind, there's another one. Shy wants uh, wants to show us. What is? These things look awesome. There's like a purple brain hanging out the back of them. I love these things. These are actually really, really neat. Those are neat. They're they're creepy though. Yeah, they look like little, little spider robots or something like that. Cephalopod Spectre controlled by cloned brain of its owner. Whoa. Oh. So so it has a so those things are being piloted by like oh. a dude that has his brain also it, wow, that's weird. That's a that's very cool, but very weird. That's actually kind of fascinating. Would you consider that a servitor though? Yeah, well, I mean, it's still it's a cloned brain, so uh, yeah, I guess there's still a brain in it. There's still a brain in it. That's true, and it's well, yeah. God damn, huh? Damn, there's some weird little servitors, aren't there? That's cool, though. That looks like something again from a horror game where it would be chasing you, and then it would just snatch you up, and and then, and then next thing you know, you're you're gone. Yeah, you're gone, gone. Then. <laughs> Yeah, then next thing you know, you're a uh, you're a head button that's opening doors. Well, other than that, I mean, there I don't have a whole lot of other fancy pantsy servitors. There's a the, servitor uh, for everything, so you know you kind of gotta just pick and choose which ones sound the most interesting, right? It's really a philosophical thing, I'm more oh, than anything. Yeah. It's it's yeah. just the like how little you you as an individual tend to matter. Yeah, you it, are a low man on the totem pole. I mean, what's even crazier is that much when we read that in the Night Lords trilogy, there are people who are so, so incredibly unneeded that they refuse to program a server to, to do a job. Like, oh, why that's would I, right. That was Maruk's thing was he was, was a he was yeah. a factory line worker. They wouldn't even build a servitor to do his job. I totally forgot about that. Right. Oh, and that's true. I guess I guess sometimes I forget that uh, some people don't understand why we're here. AI oh, is why? banned. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can't have yeah. artificial intelligence of any kind. It's banned. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, ho- but but hey, horribly mutilating humans by the millions to make cyborgs who are trapped inside their own twisted metal bodies. That's okay. It's That's okay. Perfectly fine because you're not going against the machine gods. Mm-hmm. Lovely. It, it is welcome lovely. to forty k, everybody. Happy hey, New Year. Happy New Year. Happy Enjoy New your year. stay. Year.